It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management. This week on the Street of Dreams, optimism Trump pessimism as global markets rose in spite of negative economic news. Unemployment claims rose. First quarter GDP was downwardly revised to a negative 5% annualized. And consumer spending fell in April to a record negative 13.6%. Now, the market's relentless advance continues to frustrate the bears and negative media stars like Andrew Ross Sorkin of CNBC, who expressed his frustration in an unprecedented outburst that the market's unhinged and failing to perform based on his apocalyptic dire forecast and predictions. Mr. Sorkin's temper tantrum reminds me of two things. First, the market is always right and doesn't care what you think or how you feel. Second, never, and I mean never, invest on anticipation of events. This strategy requires your investment decisions to be exactly correct. Of course, the opposite of exactly correct is precisely wrong. Nonetheless, I can understand their frustration. How can the market rise in the face of such catastrophic economic news? Simply put, the market looks forward, not backwards. Bull markets always follow bear markets. The 2008-2009 bear market decline was met with unprecedented monetary and fiscal stimulus and the market rallied 40% off the lows before the economic news turned positive. Thus far, the market has followed a similar pattern. The market decline in February-March was met once again with unprecedented monetary and fiscal stimulus. In addition, we have a pledge from Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell that he'll do whatever it takes to rescue the economy. But pessimism always reigns early in bull markets as the media overemphasizes bad news and spins potential positives into negatives. This is what one Wall Street sage calls the pessimism of disbelief. Too many investors do it and miss out on the big gains that come in a big booming bull market. So how do you avoid becoming a victim of the pessimism of disbelief? Well, simply ignore the noise, stay invested in a goal-based asset allocation, and take advantage of the discounts that pessimism creates. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, do I have a portfolio appropriate to my risk tolerance, to my goals, to my dreams? Hey, why sit there and wonder when you can know? You know, my son, Ryan, and I have 70 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.